job that has to be done. Honestly, from the beginning, after he murdered Tilly, he was convinced that he deserved the penalty to the degree of the law. But at the same time, it, it was an unknown style of execution, and uh, maybe the unknown was a little more easier to take than a hanging uh, or something he may have seen in his lifetime. So he had no idea of, the, uh, of what he was in store for. Some generators at a building removed from where the executioner was located and so they had a steam engine which drove these generators and that's what produced the electricity for Kemmler's execution he sat in the chair with the electrode on his head and then there was an electrode on the base of his spine and they put the electricity down through the spinal column You brought the wire from that generator into this uh, control room for the execution chamber. In this room, you then had a what we call a voltmeter, which is a device which will measure how much voltage or electricity you have available to actually do the execution. The unusual thing is that Kemmel seemed to be the only calm person there and one with the presence of mind. So several times he asked the, uh, the guards to adjust the straps to make sure that they were tight, uh, to adjust the skull cap to make sure that was making a good contact and that, uh, that he wanted everything to go smoothly and even asked the warden to just take your time and just do it right. They normally see the arm suddenly gripping the chair. This is due to the spasm. They often see steam coming out of their mouths or their ears and occasionally flames because the heat of the electrocution melts the fat in their faces and it sometimes vaporizes and it sometimes catches fire. His last days were fairly uh, calm, passive, um, placid, but he was, he was also... Um, praised quite, a, quite um, frequently in the, in the papers for his manly behavior near the end, that he went to the chair without argument, without uh, demonstration of unmanly uh, emotion, um, his ox-like submission, one of the papers referred to, that he was uh, accepting of his fate. Electricity is the extremely humiliating way of killing people. It's humiliating uh, partly because the person uh, vomits and rules. Their tissues swell up like a Michelin man and may burst. They pass water and defecate, and usually there's a horrible smell. What's the smell? Well, the smell is actually boiling urine, um, boiling feces, and um, burning skin. A pretty unpleasant smell altogether.
minutes after Kemmler died, Dr. Southwick, who was one of the uh, instrumental men instrumental in the invention of the electric chair, said, today we live in a higher civilization. He was pleased. He said, I am one of the happiest men in the state of New York today. And over and over again, there was talk of increasing civilization, a higher civilization, and the word progress appeared repeatedly in the arguments for the uh, electric chair. The uh, warden said, Kemmler is dead. And then somebody in the crowd yelled, he's still breathing. And Spitzka screamed, get the electricity back on. This time they left it on for four minutes until Kemmler's body finally caught fire. And it was at that point that they gave the signal to shut off the electricity. And through the whole room, they were in the same room as he was in, and they were probably 10 to 15 feet away at the most. The whole room was filled with smoke and burning, the smell of burning flesh. And it was just a horrible scene. They didn't have the generator uh, tied down properly, so when they were running the current through, through Kemmler, they, they were running a generator with some belts, and the belts were coming off of the generator, and a person had to be up there trying to push the belts back on as they're getting the electricity into Kemmler's body. Well, the attorney general actually fainted, uh, ran out of the room holding his stomach, and then he fainted. Uh, most of the other witnesses were terribly shaken up by this because they had, I think, like Kemmler believed, that this was going to be a quick and a painless death. It is usually believed because they want to believe that death is instantaneous. It simply isn't true. The fact is that uh, they die to, due to asphyxia, which takes from tens of seconds to minutes. And that is because the electric current stops them breathing uh, while they can still feel. They came in a half hour later to perform the autopsy. But what they found is that his body was still too hot to move. And therefore they had to wait three hours for him to cool off. And the autopsy showed that most of the skull itself had become carbonized, totally burnt. The brain itself did not seem to be affected, although the blood in that area had turned black, and in the rest of his body it had turned uh, kind of a watery substance. No real attempt was made to learn from the autopsy how to execute.